folks, it's Chris Nichols here again from the camera store with a very special exclusive for you today because we have the brand new Sony pre-production NEX7. Now here's the thing about this camera. It's a very luxurious, very high-end compact camera now from Sony and it looks beautiful, it looks expensive and everybody wants a piece of this thing right now. It's highly anticipated. And we're not a very nice part of town here today either so I'm a little worried. So I brought Dave Paul. He's our security guard of protection today. He's gonna keep me safe too, because I'm kind of a big deal now as a big YouTube movie star. We're gonna take you folks here through this. Dave's gonna keep us safe, watch out for threats, and we're gonna show you what this brand new camera can do. Now the NEX7 is interesting because we do have an APS-C size sensor in such a small body, and Sony's maximizing that potential by putting an obscene amount of 24 megapixels into this sensor. Now I know everybody wants to see what's that gonna look like, what's that gonna do for us, and is that gonna hurt our camera? Well, we'll show you some images you can judge for yourself. But really, a lot of these micro cameras have been designed to be stripped down for the beginner and made easy to use. This one has been raised up to be a very capable, very professional, high-end shooting camera. Great dials, fantastic build quality, lots of manual controls. This is made for the street photographer, made for the enthusiast. So we're going to show you how this will work today. Of course, one of the major exciting things about this camera is going to be this brand new sensor, Sony's brand new 24 megapixel APS-C size sensor. Now from what I've seen, and remember this is a pre-production chip, so we can't be sure of the final image quality. From what I've seen on these images, we are getting tons of detail. You can zoom right in, get lots of information there. Now low light performance as well, this camera does go up to 16,000 ISO, and I would expect to be incredibly bad there. But high ISO shots here, we've taken some shots in low light. Judge for yourself, take a look at those blacks. From what I've seen, there might be some smoothing, but they look very clean for a camera like this, considering that many megapixels in this sensor. Now another interesting side note to remember is that the 24 megapixel sensor in this camera is also in the Alpha A77. But if you think about it, that Alpha A77 has that pellicle mirror in the way and that's gonna lose some light, whereas this camera has nothing in the way. So what that means is if I had both cameras at the same time, I might have to raise the ISO higher on the Alpha 77 and hurt my low light performance a bit. This will probably be the best nighttime and low light picture taker of the Alpha Bunt. Ow, ah, Jordan, I stepped on something. Was that an, is that a needle? Oh. Now the Sony NEX7 does have a brilliant movie mode and that goes in conjunction with this larger APS-C sized chip. This is also shooting an AVC HD 2.0, which is the new codec. This gives you 28 megabytes per second and it also handles the new native 60p frame rates. Now, the other thing about the movie mode is that, that an NEX7? The other thing, is geez. The other thing about the uh, movie mode here is that you also get manual control. You can adjust aperture, shutter speed, ISO, everything that you need to do to make this a very cinematic camera with that big chip. Throw in ND filters and you've got yourself something very, very capable. Now the NEX7 does have this rotating screen and it's handy if I want to shoot something like this straight on. I'm not the tallest guy so I'm going to raise the camera up like this. I can just fold down the screen and make sure that I do get a nice sharp frame here. Nice and straight. Overall handling on this camera has actually been excellent. I've really enjoyed using it. It is one of the larger cameras in this series of micro camera. You know, if you compare it against something like a Panasonic GF2 or even some of the other Sony NEXs, but it's got a great grip on it, feels very solid, fills the hand nice. You've got two main control dials and actually even though they're right next to each other, they work fantastic. I can easily change aperture, shutter speed here very easily, exposure control, and I don't ever feel like I'm gonna get the wrong one. Your, your thumb goes comfortably in between and you know which one you're gonna turn here. We've got a display button on the back here and our control wheel as well. And I like that I can customize this as well. I've customized the right hand button here, pushing right, to do ISO so that I've got that at my fingertips as well. It's something they had on the earlier NEXs and I like that they brought it over here. It really makes this camera a joy to use, uh, being able to change aperture, shutter speed, ISO, white balance very, very quickly. Now I love this function button up here. If I push this, it brings up a lot of options like white balance here. And I can very quickly change between all my different white balance settings here with the top dial. And then I love that I also have this control. Once I get something dialed in, for example, I can then do amber blue or green magenta right on screen and get that live update so I can see exactly what it's going to do to the photo. When I take it, that's the color I get. Love it. Now it's a pretty standard autofocusing system. Nice and quick and of course you can move your point around as you need to. But I also love the manual control here with the mode dials. Let's check this out. As I turn my left dial here, we get our shutter speed changing, and I like having that live preview of the exposure going brighter and darker. I mean, that way I can really judge exactly what I'm gonna get. I can say, I like 
that, lock it in, take my exposure, and get a nice shot. I love that live manual preview. Now, one of the other great things about the NEX7 is how much we can customize this system. I can go in here and I can adjust exactly how the camera displays my shots. I can have a graphic representation like the other Sony's. I can have it with just the shutter speed and aperture. We've got lots of ways that we can customize what our camera looks like and what we see in the display. Now the screen on this camera is fantastic and actually it's quite viewable in this bright sunlight but there are times where I want to shade it and I, I do find that when I bring my hand over I trip the automatic sensor to switch to the electronic viewfinder inside. Now I can customize that because it is a little bit annoying but talking about this viewfinder inside the camera it's amazing. Over 2.3 megapixels in resolution makes it not only very very sharp but also quite large and with that just over one times magnification factor it also looks very natural when I bring my eye up to it real real nice joy to use. It's also on the far left of the camera which is a good place for it. Keeps my fingers free to use the dials. So a nice thought on Sony's part. Now one of the weaknesses with the Sony NEX series up to this point has been a lack of variety in lenses but they're going to change that this fall with a whole new range. We've been playing with some fun ones today. We've got the 1855 kit lens which is now in black which matches our pretty camera here as well as this very beautiful Carl Zeiss 24mm 1.8 great street photography lens with that 35mm equivalent and very sharp. But of course one of the cool things about mirrorless cameras is I can take the lens off and using an adapters like this I can put on Nikon lenses or Leica lenses, many many other brands. In fact, here let's try an experiment folks. I'm going to put this one away. I'm going to steal Jordan's Nikon lens here. Give me one sec. Sorry Jordan. I'm going to take that off here and grab this. And with the right adapter I can now put this on here. And there you go folks. So now that I've got my Nikon lens on here from Jordan, I've got this mounted on the uh, Sony NEX7 and I can shoot with this instead. Very, very cool stuff. Hopefully, hopefully you folks enjoyed our little sneak peek there at the NEX7 pre-production model. And you know, I gotta say, it's a very compact camera, very small, but it feels quality, it feels solid. We get that huge, huge megapixel count in that sensor. You've got the new ABC HD video with full manual control. This camera screams customization, change your displays, great dials and ergonomics. I think it's gonna be a huge hit, so look for this in the future. And uh, you know, it's a really exciting camera. Everybody's been trying to get their hands on it today. Everybody's been looking at it. And uh, where'd it go? Our camera. Hmm.